Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we execute the playwright test CNG test parallel on multiple browsers. Okay, so here I have already one test uh, which is created in the previous tutorial. And this is uh, like converted into the test CNG where initially I am creating the objects of playwright, browser, and page. And then with the help of using page object, I'm navigating here the URL. And this is the orange HRM application URL, login URL. And then we have enter username, password, and click on submit button. After that, this code is to log out from the application. And then we have after set method where I'm closing the browser page as well as the playwright object. So now, if you want to run parallel on multiple browsers, then first of all, we need to create a testng suit file. So let's create testng suit file. So right click on the playwright, go to other. So right click on your project, okay? Go to the other. There is option here, you will see, if you scroll down, there is option testng. You will see this option, okay? Sometime, if you have not installed the testng plugin in your Eclipse, then you will not get this option, right? So first of all, you need to install the testng plugin in your Eclipse, then you will get testng option, okay? How you need to install? You can install the testng plugin from Marketplace, okay? And you can, I have already created a video, so you can go and watch that video. That will help to you how we install the plugin in the testng plugin in the Eclipse. Okay, so what we need to do here in the this scroll down and select the testng class, click on the next. Okay, here we need to add the package name. So this is the source folder, and then we need to add here a package. So I have already here one package com.testng.test. If I want to, I can browse here also. This will give us the all the listed package. So I need to select com.testng.test. Click on OK. So package is selected. Now if I will add here the class name, this is new class, okay? Then it will create here. But if I'm using any existing class, right? Like orange HRM, then it will ask to replace, okay? And then, so better we can add one new file, take is like leave blank, like uh, same thing, new test. Then here add the XML file name, right? I'm giving testng.xml, okay? And click on finish button. You will see one file is created, template testng. This is new file. Okay, and then we have here testng suite XML file. So in that testng suite XML file, this is the default structure. Okay, within the, on the top, we have suite. And within the suite, we have test section. Within the test section, we have classes. And then here I write one class difference. Now, if I want to run this orange HRM, so we can call this class in our testng suite file. So let me add this orange HR. Okay, so if I right click and run as the testng suite, then it will start running orange HRM of test. And here in the test, we have configured this to run on the babkit. So it will launch the babkit URL. So it launched the babkit browser, navigate the URL, and now it's log out. Okay, execution is done. But now the question is how we run the test parallel and multiple browsers. So in that case, what we can do, we can parameterize here the okay. So we need to call the test change notation parameters, and here we can pass the browser. Okay, 
multiple arguments we can pass, but we need to pass only one browser. And here we can leave the browser. Okay, let's give the browser name. So this is the variable browser name. And here we can use the switch case. browser so we can call this here and if case this is chrome then we will launch the chrome option playwright dot here we will call the chrome chromium application and this will return the browser type so we need to store this in a browser type variable so let's create here one variable browser type and this is the browser type one variables next case we need to add here break next case is Firefox. Okay, then we can create browser type equal to playwright dot Firefox and then call the break statement. Third case, we can use babekit and then I can use call here browser type equal to playwright dot babekit. Okay, so this is the browser type, this is created. And then here we need to call this and browser type, then launch method, okay, like this. And here we, use, we can use the default case, In default, we can launch any browsers, like I'm going to default launch the Chromium, or we can also throw the exception or something. So default, I am considering the Chromium browsers, or we can give the, except throw the exception, new, throw, new, illegal argument exception. So this is, please provide valid browser type. Here this is parameterized and based on the input, it will run on the browser. Now what we can do in the testng xml file, we can call here parameter name, name we need to put the same browser and then we have value like here I am putting from. Okay, so one parameters, this browser and the browser which we are using in orange HRM, this both should be same. So let me give the capital name. Okay, now if I run the test, this test will run on the Chrome browser. So Chromium browser launch, okay, navigating the URL. Yeah, enter username, password, you yeah, done. So now if I'm passing here the Firefox, then it will run on Firefox browser. So 
So getting the exception. Please provide a valid browser type. So let's see. Yeah, what we are doing wrong. So this is Firefox. Okay. Easy. Let me run now again. Yeah, running the test. You can see the Firefox browser is opened. URL is navigated. Okay. Enter username and password, click on login button, and now it's logged out. Okay, execution is done. Similar type, if we want to run babkit, just pass here the babkit as a parameters value. It will run on the babkit. Now, in single browser, any browser, if you want to run, then we can pass the value from sweet XML file. Okay. And if we want to run the parallel test, then we can create here multiple sets. Okay. If we want to create run the parallel on multiple browsers and three browsers, then we can create the three test. One test babkit. Second test here we have Chrome. So let's pass here Chrome. Then third one is the Firefox. Firefox. Okay. I created here the three test babkit Chrome Firefox. Let me run now this and let's see what will happen. Now it started running. Okay. First of all, it's it will run on the babkit browser. You can see URL is navigated. Okay, page is opened. Now login done, log out. Next Chromium browser open. URL is now it's navigated. And then enter username password done. Login and log out. Now it's going to launch the third test and third browsers. Okay, Firefox. So done. All the test is run on all the three browsers. You can see here, it's run on all the three browsers. And here you can see also the one web kit, Chrome and Firefox. But now how we run this test in parallel. So you can see at a suit level, I said parallel equal to false. But if I mark this parallel equal to true, then it will run, start running all these oh, parallel equal to test. We need to main here parallel equal to test. So let me run again. Okay, right click, run test and use it. So it will run all the three tests. Here test means one test, second test and third test. So it launched the all the three browsers parallelly. You can see here. And then running the test. Yeah, all the test is run on all the three browsers parallelly. And you can see the report here. Okay, so there are some also some uh, attribute we can use to control the number of thread, like how many tests we need to run parallelly. All those we can manage by using test and suit XML file. Thanks for watching the video. And share this video to your colleagues, friends. Subscribe the channel, like the video. Okay. Thanks for watching the video.